So if you've been following my series on soil moisture monitoring, you'll know that I recently added a second shielded temperature pressure sensor, or a BMP280 to my original BME280 to help me eliminate bias resulting from a poorly designed radiation shield. Details of the physical integration of the sensor and the shield were touched on in this video, and I did run into some I squared C address conflicts, which took me a little bit of time to figure out, but eventually found a remedy which is summarized in this video. I'll include links to both these summaries as well as link to the code supporting this setup in the description below. In this video, I'll share step-by-step -step details on how the second sensor was formally integrated into my field setup, starting with a recap of the sensor integration in the Davis Shield. And uh, I won't be narrating this. I think the, the pictures speak for themselves. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to go ahead and share them in the comments section of this video. All right, folks, it's July 31st at 8 a.m. And I've gone ahead and installed the uh, BMP280 and its radiation shield. And you can see I set up this little proto board where I can attach additional I squared C devices down the road. Um, but everything is wired up uh, 8 a.m. And I'm gonna be uh, hooking up the uh, laptop and updating the uh, programming on this little microcontroller shortly. So I just uploaded revised cap six and I've got two temperatures showing on the uh, little feather OLED. So they're reading 30.96 and 30.92. They're very close to one another. So that suggests to me that everything is working okay. Um, I'm gonna remove the SD card and make sure that the uh, data logger's uh, writing data properly, but I think we're good to go. I should be getting data both from the BMP280 here as well as the BME280 here. And here's the data. It looks like it wrote okay. On uh, at 8:22 in the morning, I got both um, my shielded BMP280 value right there, as well as my air temp right there. And they'll be close to one another this morning because everything's kind of shaded. We got some rain last night, so um, the conditions are are kind of favorable to uh, to get similar readings. But let's see how this performs over time. All right, folks, it's July 31st, and who knows, we might get a little bit of rain. The sun's behind the clouds. So these two temperatures should match pretty well, and in fact, they do. Um, uh, the BMP and the BME are within a half a degree Celsius of one another. Uh, 
so. being in the shade or being under the clouds uh, makes a big difference. Uh, kind of negates the need for these radiation shields. But otherwise, well, So we must have gotten about an inch of rain. I'll check shortly, but man, that was one heck of a storm. You can see that the basin is just completely full of water. So all three of those capacitive soil moisture sensors are probably gonna be pegged out. But uh, wow, that was pretty intense. And I'm looking at the, uh, the temperatures and the BMP and the BME are within a tenth of a degree. I'm reading 20.44 and 20.31, so a little over a tenth of a degree. And it's now 9.30, and you can see that all that water is gone. So and it got pretty good infiltration back here. I'm pretty surprised with all that clay, but uh, so those all those capacitive soil moisture sensors should be pretty much pegged out. All right, it's the morning after that killer storm. <laughs> Let's see how things look. So you can see the ground is pretty wet. We got some great infiltration last night. So let's make sure the data logger still works after all that rain. And I do see data. I see, excuse me, um, temperatures 29.83 versus 29.10 on the Bosch sensors. So that's positive. So I think what I'm going to do next is line this basin uh, with some rocks to prevent a uh, rock fall. Uh, all this gravel from falling into the same. And then I think August 1st will be the official start date of data collection for, uh, for this instrument, uh, given all the adjustments that we had to make to realize some uh, defensible data. All right, folks, August 1st, about a quarter after 11, I just hauled in a bunch of rocks from the desert to kind of keep the gravel out of the pit. Um, so this is it. This is the official start date and time of experiments moving forward. So the starting conditions are the ground is just saturated. So it'll be interesting to see with the cloud buildup and the monsoons, what the wetting drying profile looks like using those capacitive soil moisture sensors and also uh, looking at temperature, which is frankly what I'm more interested in. But. I think we're good to go. It took us close to a year to get to this uh, point. And one last little bit of data that we'll be collecting is temperature, pressure, humidity using this BME 280, which is currently reporting out to an Adafruit IO dashboard. So this will continue to collect data as long as the, um, the field deployment is up and running. So it'll give us some context for what conditions look like on a shady patio relative to what's being collected out there. Needless to say, we're gonna move this rusty grill somewhere else. And uh, I'm gonna cut back some of those shrubs around that basin so that uh, we can create as little bias as possible.